This video is going to show us where tangent is in the unit circle. We've already seen that the sine of an angle is given by the y value of the spot where the angle hits the unit circle. The cosine of the angle is given by the x value of the spot where the angle hits the unit circle. So how is tangent related to the unit circle? And I promise it is. In this slide, I've taken one of those triangles from the unit circle. You can see the hypotenuse is one, so it's definitely from the unit circle. And I've just drawn that right here so that we can analyze it in terms of its height or its sine and its length or its cosine. So first step when I see a right triangle, I just really want to label my sides adjacent, opposite, and hypotenuse. So I see my angles right here. So the one is clearly the hypotenuse. The x therefore must be the adjacent and the y is going to be our opposite. This is of course how we get that the sine is obviously the opposite, which is y over the hypotenuse, so y over 1, so sine is just y. It's the actual proof of why the sine is going to be the y or the height. Cosine, similarly, is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, so it's x over 1, or just x. So that's, again, how the cosine is the x-coordinate of this point. So tangent, well, that's opposite over adjacent, as given in our Sokotoa, or y over x. Well, I know that sine equals y, so I can replace y with sine. And I know that cosine equals x, so I can replace this x with cosine. So in this slide, we've shown two really important things. The first is that the tangent is given by the y-coordinate divided by the x-coordinate. And the second is that the tangent actually equals the sine of an angle divided by the cosine of an angle. So if we know the sine and we know the cosine, we can easily find the tangent. Or I shouldn't say easily, it's going to involve a lot of arithmetic. So let's look at an example. Here I've put a similar triangle as on the last slide, except I've said it's 30 degrees. So we'll do it a specific example of 30 degrees. We know that the sine of 30 is going to equal 1 half because that is our y value. And we know the cosine of 30 equals the square root of 3 over 2 because that's our x value. So now let's look at what is the tangent of 30. Well, I've already said that it's y over x, so I'll put my y, which is 1 half, and then I'll divide it by my x, which is the square root of 3 over 2. Now this looks really messy, but what's important to recognize is that when you divide by a fraction, so here I'm dividing by this fraction, it's the same thing as multiplying the numerator by the reciprocal of that fraction that was on the bottom. So what I'm actually going to be able to do is do my numerator times the reciprocal of this bottom fraction. So that's 2 over the square root of 3. And now since I'm multiplying two fractions, I just multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom. So I have 2 times 1, which is just 2, over 2 square roots of 3. My 2's can cancel out, so I'm left with just 1 over the square root of 3. Now this is a perfectly fine answer, except most of the world is going to want us to rationalize, I'll put this word here again, rationalize the denominator. So I multiply by a version of 1, square root of 3 over 3. 
So that will give me the square root of 3, again, multiplying across and across, all over the square root of 9. But we know the square root of 9. I'm not even going to leave it there. We know that's just 3. So I'll leave it as 3. So I know this was a lot of work, but now I can see that the tangent of 30 is actually the square root of 3 divided by 3. Now let's look at an example using the unit circle rather than a triangle. So I've put in 315 degrees along with its x and y coordinates. Obviously when you're looking at a circle you'll have all of your angles in. But just to focus in on what we're on, I just put 315. So we know that the sine of 315 degrees, well, that's the y, so that's the negative square root of 2 over 2, y. And then the cosine of 315 degrees is going to be the x, which is the positive square root of 2 over 2. So now we're just left to find the tangent of 315 degrees. Well, I already established that it's y over x or sine over cosine. So again, a kind of messy fraction, negative square root of 2 over 2, all divided by the square root of 2 over 2. But let's pause and actually think about this. Yes, the square root of 2 over 2 is a messy fraction, but it still just represents a number. So if you just think of this as any old number or letter or anything, notice that it's the same number down on the bottom. So if I divide the negative of some number by the positive of that number, well, I'm going to get some version of 1. And since the top is negative and the bottom isn't, I can actually just simplify that whole thing to a negative 1. So if I was going to write it all out, I would say the tangent of 315 degrees equals negative 1. Here are a few additional practice problems for you to try. Please write them down on either on a separate piece of paper or on note anytime and show them in class tomorrow. Thanks.